Hello everybody, my name is Vít Procházka and I would like to welcome you in my very first tutorial. In one of my previous videos you could see me making this little level for my future game Wireso. I didn't really make any modifications or changes since then, but I added this red plasma wall and when I try to go through it kills me instantly. So I would like to place there some kind of teleports or portals which will bring me from one place to behind the wall. I actually have such a technology, I call it Warlocus and you can saw it in work here. I stop time and you can see that it's actually a pretty simple concept. It's just two balls in space and these balls switches their places. So when I encounter this ball, I'm actually standing in the other one. So when I'm getting out, I just teleported myself. Well, it's pretty cool and I decided to make a tutorial for you how to make it. But I separate this tutorial for two parts and the first part will be only about the visuals or the texturing, little bit, bit of Python or how to make it that I can see through this ball as I would s stay next uh, that one. So let's get started. Well, before we actually get into Blender and start doing everything, I will try to explain you how it will actually work. So, we will have two planes. For example, here, and here. Oh, it's weird, but whatever. Plane number one, plane number two, and main camera through which we will look to the scene main camera and here will stand little house and here will be little sun just for example and if we are looking through the plane number one we actually want this ray to continue from plane number two and we will see the house. So there will be little house and if analogically we look through the plane number two we want this way to continue from plane number one and we will see the sun. So there will be our texture of the sun. Uh, we can achieve that with another cameras for we because we need source for this image and source is always a camera and where we want to place them well if we want to see the sun from this plane uh, most of the tutorials on YouTube show just place the camera here on the plane and look to the sun and you will see the sun and you will be happy but it's not what we want so I delete it uh, because every camera has some field of view and it actually uh, make things look smaller or bigger 
uh, if you change field of view you actually zoom in or zoom out so we want this new camera be on the relatively same position as our main camera and we will control its field of view so we will see the sun from the right distance so we will see it in the right size well the position if it's relative we need relative to something so we take this vector like relative position from plane number two and apply, apply it from plane number one and place it the camera number two here and this camera will be source for our image here I hope it's not too messy and it's understandable Ooh. and we will do same thing for the camera number one we will take this vector apply it uh, sorry <laughs> it's very bad apply it here and place our second camera but camera number one because it's source for our image on plane number one and uh, we need to control as I said our field of view we need to be field of view exactly for the plane so if we uh, when we will be closer we need a bigger angle when we are far away we need smaller and to this camera not always see this plane but only the sun because we don't want to see the plane here we want to see the sun we will control also the clipping distance which will be always little behind the plane will be start clipping and end is wherever we want it's not really that important well and it's pretty much everything I hope you understand what we want to achieve and we can try it in blender so let's get to it and now we are finally in blender we can start with adding a plane place it wherever you want like that this will be one of our Vorolocus well you can see this is only a plane and we want the illusion that it's ball and we will achieve it by facing the plane always to the camera and for this purpose we need this plane to facing positive x axis but important is that rotation and scale will always be 0 and 1 for this plane so we have to rotate it in the edit mode just enter edit mode, rotate it in the y axis about 90 degrees and we are done we will need uh, two game properties for our Vorolocus so add them name them name them whatever you want I named my uh, my uh, mat name for the name of the material cam name well this will be both strings and first one will be name of the material which will be 
uh, refreshed every frame and source for the texture will be from camera and camera name will be here in the second game property now we will place here new material name it somehow and in the name place something like 01 or A or whatever uh, what will we will do Prolocus 02 or Prolocus B because we will have two displays and they uh, doesn't they have to have uh, different materials well the material is very easy just shadeless no physics no traceable no mist no shadows everything isn't important and here we are we have the magic for doing the trick facing the plane always to the camera this is there is a face orientation setting set to normal and if we set it to halo it will it is just done when you enter the game engine you should see that this plane is already looking through the camera cool right <laughs> when you have something like particles or just pretty much every effect uh, bloom or glare or something just use halo when you have uh, grass or fire anything use billboard it's same thing the plane always face to the camera but it rotates only around z axis so your fire or grass will always uh, have roots on the ground well we will use hello and now we only need the texture uh, before we add new texture it's good to have UV unwrapped this plane and there is little problem because I didn't find a way how to set different resolution for every camera in your scene so we need to respect this aspect ratio and I'll show you when you have image I have exa for example this image which has the uh, same aspect ratio as my render and I unwrap this it's still this aspect ratio it's and I need to this unwrapped plane be still the square so I make this view right and align view uh, view selected now when I'm project from view this plane I am sure that this square uh, this plane is square and it's exactly in the center so now I can scale it as much as I can every pixel is good and it's all now I, I can place new texture to my material uh, naming isn't really imp uh, important or doesn't make any difference Rocus 01 text it will be of course image or movie and don't use this uh, drop menu use open because when you save it somewhere and open it 
in different uh, folder tree or different computer it will preserve the uh, relative path and you won't get rid of this these images so we don't want the alpha it's rgb input something nothing mapping we want only clip it's it is uh, don't make any difference but it's just for memory purposes mapping uv uv map if we have uh, multiple UV maps we need to choose which we want to use and influence will be of course color this image won't be seen uh, in the actual game but this image uh, controls the resolution of the texture only so place there whatever image you want whatever you have but note that resolution of the image will be always the resolution of the projected projected te texture regardless of your render render resolution and it's a good practice in your game to have same resolution through the uh, textures of a whole scene uh, I am for example using 256 for every meter so every asset which uh, I am doing has in one meter 256 pixels it has not nothing to do with portals but it's, it's a good I would say uh, good habit <laughs> well we need th it is this is all for the plane that we need just duplicate this plane place it somewhere else and change some things mainly the name this will be uh, let's say plane 02 this will be plane 01 and for this plane we need different material so so hit this little number 2 it make this material separate name it something that makes sense this is good everything just change the texture same thing hit the number two rename it and change the image again number two rename it will be port, port B and find it in your directory port B except everything else should be already in place and we can uh, fill this mat name with name of our material just uh, place your cursor over hit ctrl C and here ctrl V in the second plane do the same thing ctrl C ctrl V and only think uh, before little scripting we need two cameras so place them 
here it doesn't matter where they are or where they looking just the name of the object not on the camera it's irrelevant we need name of the object camera uh, 401 for example and set some game logic it will be very simple nothing fancy just always sensor and controller and edit object actuator instead of instead of add object we want track 2 and this is camera 0 1 so object to track 2 will be plane 0 2 times 0 and enable 3d now duplicate this camera change the name camera 0 2 and it will be everything same uh, instead of the plane it will be plane 0 1 because it's camera 0 2 and actually well uh, we need to uh, take these names control C and place it to our planes and because we took camera number 2 we place it to the plane number 2 oh control C V uh, same thing control C control V and we are done if we now play the game you won't see anything fancy you will see only two planes with will always face to the camera and this is what we want and now we going to scripting don't be afraid it will be rather easy if you have some experience with Python and you can just copy it if you don't have any so let's get started well now just open your text editors and we can start our little programming rename your script to something that makes sense like for locus when you make one and end it with dot uh, py so it will be python script when you program something in blender you most of the time or every time needs the Python libraries uh, of the Blender game engine or something. We need import them first in the first line. So just type import PGE and I know we will need some math and uh, vectors and uh, trigonometry. Yeah, I know it's weird but don't worry Python will do everything for us so we will just import it math and math utils and it's pretty much done now we can uh, make our function which will uh, run every frame and which will do every everything for us so just define it with dev some name uh, like what uh, bracelets and column and in bracelets 
is good it's not really a trick or something just play there count it will uh, get instantly the controller which will run this script so we don't need to find it uh, anyhow we don't need to declare it well we will need the the plane which will run this script and it it is uh, always done through the controller and because we have the controller already inside the function we just can say that plane is controller just count because it is inside the bracelet and it is its owner so now we have our plane uh, in this uh, line the script already know what is this object he know is this plane or uh, every other object uh, which will run this script now there is uh, we should find the whole scene because we want to encounter the other objects where this script isn't running the cameras the uh, other plane so for declaring the scene is good to make it only once and this whole function will run every single frame so uh, there is little not trick but again something workaround that we check if the scene is already somewhere where we want it so if the scene not in plane which we know it isn't for now we will declare it as property of the plane not as some variable so plane scene will be the current scene it, it is what we want so the model bge logic and function function get current scene now we have the scene and if this script run again the next frame it will stop in this if and find this scene in the plane because we declare it and don't declare it again again and again so this will run only once it's exactly what we want and to be sure that the rest of the script runs only when the scene is already declared we just place it to the else part of this function and here will be all our script which will uh, contain from two parts uh, one will be again only one frame and second will be every frame refreshing the field of view of cameras position of cameras and refreshing the texture itself so for the one frame we do exactly the same thing if something like rendered texture for example uh, not in plane I constantly indent where I don't need uh, we will find first our cam so we will declare it again as the property of the plane because it is what I like to do it's not really necessary but it is good the properties uh, stays uh, with the object uh, with every frame uh, you can save the uh, it to the external files 
you have really power here <laughs> so source cam it could be and we will find it in the scene scene we declare as plain scene and scene uh, if have function obe objects and it is a list of the all objects in the scene and we want a specific so we from the list find something that has the right name and the name we declared already if we can so here in the plane as cam name is this is the name of the camera of the object we want to declare as source camera so we have to go again in the plane again bracelet and name of the this property is cam name it's the name what we choose right here now in this line we have new property and we know the what what object in the scene is our camera or the source camera for the uh, image and we want to change of course material so we need the material ID which we will find again in BGE texture oh in texture module and material ID function and this function has uh, we need to place there the name of the material and the name uh, is uh, the string which we choose here but uh, the python look for this name but with the uh, ma before it and in python we can uh, add strings together so I just put this MA right here and plus and again plain mat name and this is the name of the material for the Python and before we need uh, say which object uh, has this this material and we know that it's plain so we have material and we need the tex texture right so the render it oh. texture will be again pge texture model texture and here i again write plane the material uh, object where is the texture and material which has the texture so mat id and when i have the texture finally I can give it the source the camera which will change it so render it texture oh. render it texture source will be again 
BGE texture image re, um, render and now I want whole scene so I know it's plain scene and camera which is in this scene and the camera is source cam well now I just save it as property so I will end this if if function it's nothing more than plain rendered texture. Sorry for my slow and weird typing. Will be this. and finally just declare the main cam only because we can do it here only one and don't do another if main cam not in plane so we do it here because we know this is will be only one and to preserve it we just declare it again as uh, the property main cam will be again seen again as this object we can find the main camera and in my case my camera is named main camera So place there whatever your camera is name. Well, and if we have all these things, we already have has it declared. We need to actually we need uh, again. Uh, the other plane we this script will run on one plane and it will work with the other one and we will need we need to find it and because we had two names so well if plane name this is uh, I just control uh, the name of the plane which run uh, the script and it last uh, Last character like plane zero one, so this last character will be one, and if it is one, I will declare plane other plane. Well, I saw, I see mistake here because it is, it's not in uh, the plane property. It is just main camera. 
and here it is the same thing because I don't have it as property I already know its name so if it ends to one well we want plane zero two and control C and if not I already know that if it not ends with one it ends with two so the other one will be plane zero one well and now we already have everything and now we just want this vector for a difference between position of the main camera and position of the plane so I just take the main camera which is here and world position minus the same thing but not main camera but the plane itself and now I have the vector uh, I know I want to know the distance of the camera from the plane it is why I have this math details because now I can uh, say that distance for example this is my vector magnitude and now I just check if I have this other plane if it's even in the scene and if if yes I just modify the source cam which is this I should use control C control V more I'm really apologize for that this takes so long time world position will be the other port uh, other plane position plus our vector so we are take we get this vector and we apply it to the other plane so when we have this vector we apply it here and we find the position of the cameras another we need to control uh, near clipping it's where the camera actually starts recording and it's the distance plus something little small like 0 0.05 for example you don't want to have is at zero but too much is too much I don't have really find the right vi value yet but this is work pretty well and maybe the last and maybe the hardest is the field of view it's 
I just copy paste this equation and I will try to explain it to you. Uh, this is actually uh, 180 uh, divided by pi, pi times 2 it's y 360 uh, this is only making radians which are the angle units uh, used by mass fun functions and this is converted to the degrees which are source for field of view and tangents uh, arcus tangents just uh, I will explain it with the picture uh, we have plane somewhere and camera or study camera we know this distance like this and this is some value of uh, should be one but not this uh, plane is two by two where we project our texture so this should be one but as you remember we used a bigger picture so this is not one but in my aspect ratio or in aspect ratio 16 to 9 s most cases it's 1.777 blah 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 so 1.777 8 uh, divided by distance is actually the tangent of this angle and if we tam times it by 2 we get the field of view this is why there is no 180 but 360 because it's times by 2 and uh, this half angle is the one seven 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 divided by the distance so we have I hope you understand this is really messy explanations I know sorry for it but just copy it and it should work finally last line is only oh not this but we want uh, not this the render to texture to refresh itself so refresh true and I hope it will work I save it and here we are we have selected our plane and we need just always sensor with true triggering it means it will run every frame Python and we don't need we don't use script but module a module will be as we name it vorolocus dot voro because our fun function is voro and we need exactly the same thing in plane 2 so we find it plane 2 always to python module vorolotus dot voro now everything is prepared go to 3d view 
into camera and hope for the best start the game go to our portals and something is wrong don't worry look in your console window uh, python has really nice explanations what is wrong and it's saying that line ain't i have typo there is no logic of course there is logic and save it and try again run to do it and still is something messy and as always i found another mistake i have big s here and small s here well typos are the most common mistakes you will ever encounter like this one 17 what's wrong now r is too much i check the console it looks good it should work and I am very sorry and yes it works I see everything as it should be but it's not a ball right I have like last minute so I will very quickly show you how make it a ball so in the material I just add another texture another image texture and it will be something black and white with circle and it will influence not color but alpha mapping to V and if it influence alpha and how I put transparency alpha to zero I have little ball or circle I do it with this another again I don't need to make I don't need to make another texture but it's I am lazy to find out the previous one so I take the image again exactly the same thing mapping UV uh, not color but alpha and transparency alpha zero when I now encounter the game engine I should see it like a ball it looks weird but again another texture give it a border or something and you will have your portals well be patient with me I hope I will get better with making tutorials I hope you like this one and it's all for now in the next we will make the actual teleportation and maybe something more hope you like it and to the next session bye